In this video, we're going to be looking at Edward Tatum and George Beadle and the experiment that they did. Um, the ultimate goal of what they were looking for is actually to uh, just see that they found that one gene made one enzyme. Or another way of saying it is that genes make enzymes and those enzymes re regulate metabolism. But more specifically, just one gene codes for this one specific enzyme that does one specific function. And they did this through looking at something called Neospora crassa. I probably butchered the name of it, but Neospora crassa is a bacteria that is that grows on bread, so essentially bread mold. And this red right here is actually uh, what I'm using to represent that. So I'm going to probably be using like a like a highlighter in that color to represent um, just the growth of the Neospora. And what they did is they actually took a minimal media. So what minimal media means is it's media, which is a media's environment. And inside this environment, we have like H2O, we have simple salt, uh, we have some sugar, and a few other things I don't know off the top of my head. But essentially, the goal of it is if I put the neocrass inside here, it should be able to take that minimal media and convert it into amino acids so these circles will represent the amino acids and vitamins so I'm gonna use vitamins as like these long ones so it should be able to take the vitamin or take that minimal media nutrients and convert it into those two in order to grow in it so I'm gonna go ahead take out my red highlighter and represent that growth let me just go ahead and get there Okay, so I have my highlighter. This red right here represents growth of the Neospora inside of that. But what they found is if I have some DNA, these three right here will be my DNA for gene A. If I go and that DNA doesn't work, it codes for an enzyme. If that DNA cannot code for an enzyme anymore, what will happen is that it's not going to be able to make either vitamins or amino acids, and it needs both of those to grow. So let's say that there's no enzyme, that means that there's no vitamin, and that means that there's no growth. So there's, they're just gonna see nothing inside the minimal, me minimal media. And what they did is they actually took that idea and went a little bit further. So they went and figured out a way to break that DNA or essentially mutate that DNA so that we don't produce enzyme A anymore. So let's say that we take another one, and before we put it inside the com minimal media, we're going to grow it in complete media. So this is just like a normal, um, it has everything that you need. And we're going to take some x-rays. So they took an x-ray, and they actually uh, destroyed or mutated that DNA that codes for enzyme A. And then they put it back into minim minimal media to see if it would grow. So this is inside the minimal media. And surprisingly, 299 times it grew. But one time it did not grow. So what they did is they took that one that did not grow, they separated it, and like I said, there's a lot of problem solving inside microbiology. So they took that one that did not grow and put it into two different environments. So one of the environments, both of them are minimal media still, but one of them has vitamins, and the other one has amino acids. So it's just vitamins. So there's no amino acids inside the left one, and there's no vitamins in the right one. So they, they ultimately were just looking to see what's missing. Which one is it lacking? So they observed that it grew inside the one with vitamins. So that's actually telling them that originally they were lacking vitamins. Whoops. So inside the original one, they did not have the vitamins, and then when they added in the vitamins, now it's growing. So that's essentially telling them that, okay, so when I broke that DNA, it broke 
the gene that codes for the enzyme that turns my nutrients into the vitamins that I need to grow. So that's what they're doing. And what they did is they actually took it even a step further. So they took the one um, and knowing that it's vitamins is the issue, they actually took it and grew it in more minimal media. Minimal. Sorry for the ugly handwriting. So we have minimal media right here and they took it into five different environments. So this is three, four, five different environments. Um, actually, I'll just do four for the sake of time. So basically the idea is that they're now understanding that it's vitamins. So they put it into five, four different environments with different vitamins. So one of them is riboflavin, for example. Um, the other one could be, uh, let's say thiamine or even niacin and even B6. So theoretically, the one that they added the vitamin into is the one that was lacking in the original one. So that's saying that if I put it into any of these and they grow, once I add in let's say B6, that means that the enzyme in that DNA was destroyed, not making the enzyme that allows me to make B6 for my nutrients. So ultimately, what they found is that that DNA, uh, the DNA, uh, when it's damaged, makes a specific enzyme that controls metabolism. So one gene, one enzyme, one purpose. So breaking that DNA for gene A does not allow for enzyme A, which does not allow to make vitamin B6.